Dashboards allow you to monitor and analyse the performance of your organisation, whether that be through call quality, call volumes, productivity or real-time metrics. A dashboard can either be built using the new layout feature or you can load and save dashboards through the load and save features at the top here. In the load feature, you will find a collection of pre-built dashboards covering various different monitors for you to load rather than build a new dashboard. If you want to build a new dashboard, you can do this by selecting the new layout feature. You can then select how many panes you want, up to nine panes in a three by three layout. Once you select this, you can then determine if you want to remove any. You can remove them horizontally, so if I was to remove one here, it would then automatically adjust to just have two across that horizontal row. Now you have set your layout, it is now time to choose your monitors. You can do this by selecting the change monitor icon here, and then simply scrolling through to pull through the monitor that you would like to select. There are three types of monitor that can be pulled through. Tiled, displaying a numerical figure for that monitor. Graphical, displaying a graph or chart. Or tabled, displaying a table of detailed information which can either be summarised or listed as details like below. The graphical format monitors can be adjusted to remove the lines of information that you do not want to see. By clicking on the line, it simply removes it from the graphs. It can be added back in again by simply clicking it. By hovering over the graph, you also get detailed numbers at that specific point. If you then click into that hovered number, you will get a detailed list of calls across that period. These can be filtered and sorted at the top, but then also downloaded into an Excel or PDF format. If you click into the date and timestamp, you will also get a detailed record of that individual call, including device and quality information. Tiled monitors show one simple statistic within them, for example, answer calls. The tiled monitors can have thresholds applied to them in selecting the threshold button here. Here we can select the threshold we want to apply, whether it being above or below, and we can add critical and warning thresholds. Therefore, when the amount of calls is above or below that level, it will apply a threshold to the tiled monitor. The drill down and click through to detail feature is also available in the tabled formats. The tabled formats can also be sorted by clicking at the top of the column. You can then drill down into your call as so and see further details on that employee. Now your monitors have been selected, you can now apply filters to the information being pulled through. The dashboard will automatically show all information for all data you are authorised to see. Therefore, you can narrow this down through the filters options. This can either be done through the global filters option, which will apply filters to every monitor in the dashboard, or you can simply go into each monitor and select the filters option where you can apply specific and detailed filters to each individual monitor. The details of what each monitor can be filtered on will be found in the subsequent document to this video. Now your dashboard has been built with the monitors and filters selected, this can be saved. This can either be saved as personal or common. Personal meaning that you, only you can see it, common meaning it will be accessible for other users to go and see. You will then be able to load this dashboard through the load option. The last step of the dashboard is to select the date you want to look at. If you want to go back and look at a previous day, you can. However, the dashboard will automatically load to look at today's data. You can therefore go and change and select your date using the calendar icon at the top here. You can also create your dashboard to monitor trends over a period of time, rather than just looking at one particular day. This is done by selecting the trends button. This follows all the same concepts and principles that we looked through in terms of filtering and applying conditions to each monitor. However, rather than just selecting one day at the top, you select a range of dates to monitor between.